Hello my friends, it's Scrubsy here and we're playing some War Thunder! Today we're going to be doing some arcade battles because in the last video uh, we were actually doing some base bombing but the one before that we were doing some historical battles so we're alternating to keep everyone happy. Everyone needs to be happy, there are other people out there. Not only yourself, you HP junkies. <laughs> we'll get back onto HP soon. But uh, we're doing some arcade battle today. And uh, today's topic in mind that I wanted to go through was how I level up high level planes, okay? Uh, if you've noticed from previous episodes, Krebsy doesn't really like using high level planes, like the higher, higher ones, like level 15 and such. And the reason being is because of just how certain matchmaking goes around. Uh, now, I haven't really had a whole lot of problems in recent days with it, so I have been playing higher tiers more and more. Um, but there is something that is common with all of us that we all have to suffer with, unless you're a millionaire and you want to spend lots of money. Uh, <laughs> the problem that we have to suffer with is upgrading our new planes, whether you have just reached level 7, level 2, level 3, level 8, level 10, whatever the level might be, 20. You have to get a new plane, and you have to research stuff with the new patch 1.33 we all know you have to research uh, new equipment onto your plane so that brings a question into my mind and I thought would make an interesting topic today is how I like to level up the skills the the, the equipment on each of my planes now it doesn't actually transfer over to all of you but I'm just gonna tell you how I like to do it <laughs> okay um, so what I've loaded out today is a whole bunch of planes, like tier 13, 14, the highest, Tempest. And what you notice with a lot of them, commonly, is that they're lacking uh, equipment on them. Including my Spitfire over here, which is tier 12. I actually completely forgot that there was a Spitfire here, because if you go into the tech tree and you click in here, uh, you have the Spitfire Mark 5C, and I didn't actually know that there was uh, another plane mixed in with this bunch. So I bought the Spitfire Mark uh, 5B and then I totally forgot about everything, uh, the, the the rest of it, and then uh, I just realized like a few days ago, oh, whoa, there's another Spitfire. <laughs> my bad. Uh, so, so I have to level that up as well. Amongst all my other planes, this Spitfire is pretty much maxed out. Uh, what about you? You're pretty much maxed out. Typhoon wasn't. The Mosquito's definitely not going to be. The Bow Fighter's definitely not going to be. So I've got a lot of leveling to do. And now how does somebody like myself, who is a little bit, admittedly, a bit stat whorish, uh, how, how do I go about having success in matches whilst leveling out my planes? Well, it's quite simple, my friends. Let's jump out into a match and I'll explain it to you. Now, I just want to quickly let you guys know if you're interested in Krebsy and what's going on in his life at the moment. Uh, I've started full-time work as a pre-registration pharmacist, so I've got one year until I'm a fully qualified pharmacist. Um, and I'm, I'm working full-time, so that's 40 hours a week, uh, near enough, every single week. So, it's going to be a bit difficult for me to make videos, but I'm really going to try to do it where possible, alright? Uh, so we're on Grave Robber's thingy cliff over here. So the first plane that I'm going to go out with is my Mustang, and I'll explain briefly. So I've got full-time work. I'm going to try to finish, uh, do as much videos as I possibly can, when I can. Um, and I don't see it really being that much of a hassle, to be honest. I mean, I've got my evenings or mornings off. Like, right now, I've got an hour until work. Yes, so chances are I'm only going to do one game for you guys today. You can see the virtual keyboard at the bottom of the screen, so you can see what I'm clicking. Blah, 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 All you're hearing now is from Krebs saying blah, blah, blah. He probably totally zoned out from what I'm saying. But anyway, so the first thing that I'm doing is I'm getting my Mustang Mark 1A. And the reason why is because if I want to improve my stats, I need to personally, my own personal record, is I need to get at least 8 kills or more per game. Okay, so what I do when I'm trying to level up planes as well is I go out with my fully ranked ones first, so like the Mustang Mark 1A, which is a premium plane, it's already going to be upgraded. I go out with this first, I try to get to 8 kills in my highly upgraded planes, and as soon as I get to 8 kills, then, then I uh, jump on down over to my non-upgraded planes, my stock ones, alright? 
Uh, so I yeah, I leave it on later. I leave it to later in the match to do it. So then I can be a bit suicidal and I'm happy with it. Now that B17 is being chased, I'm gonna go for this BF 109 here, who's probably gonna try to kill some of our guys. All right, here we go. So there's a few steps that I had to skip because I was explaining to you guys uh, some stuff about you know what what I'm doing and why. But uh, basically, what you have to do as well at the beginning of every match, like I like to say is check the leaderboard and the reason why is because there's something interesting that guy got finished off I should have reduced my throttle if you take a look at the leaderboard at the start of every match you'll get a lot of information on what the enemies are like so you'll notice and I noticed that there was a clan in here K-I-B-E never heard of them looking at their stats though seems like one of them is pretty decent the other one's okay-ish what about you? he's uh okay-ish as well, decent. I see that there's another clan PSO. Yeah, I'm just more worried about those K-I-B-E guys, Kaib or whatever. Um, just because usually squadrons do like to stick around together. So the moment you start attacking one of them, then they'll be immediately screaming on the team speak, I NEED SUPPORT! COME OVER TO ME NOW! And then sometimes, what I've noticed with myself is that because they see Krebsy, you know, Krebs Koho, and the, and the leaderboard, or this might see me at first, then they come after me specifically, like the entire squadron, not even one person. So, for myself, I have to be wary of it. For you guys, you don't have to be as wary, but you still need to be wary of what's uh, on the leaderboards at the moment, okay? Alright, so I'm going to drop down this A6M2. He's going to be an easy kill if he doesn't get killed off by somebody else. Um, let's just leave these shots as best as we can. He got killed off by somebody else. And I think there's somebody over there, or above us. Above us only sky, still haven't gotten any kills. Doesn't seem like there's many people around here. And our teammates are getting very, very frontal, so... I guess this is going to be an opportunity for me to just jump on in there. Get on in with them. Uh, Killer Juice is dropping down over here. I think he's trying to go for the P-51. Maybe he was diving away. People are dying left and right, and I still haven't gotten any kills. Right, here we go. Maybe this will be my first one. Oh, it's critical. It's a critical what we get is right wing. Come on, bitch. <laughs> there we go. That's one kill for us. Looking behind me because I want to see if anything is going on that I need to be careful of. And I've blacked out. Okay, right. So some of you might be asking, Krebs, why don't you just spend all your Golden Eagles? Because we've seen that you had about 17,000. Why don't you spend that on on getting equipment for your plane. The reason is is because I believe that a game needs to have a bit of grind. I don't want to spend like all this money just purchasing and unlocking everything immediately. Um, because I mean, come on! Uh, then if I just unlock everything, what am I supposed to be looking forward to? Just killing people? I guess? <laughs> I want to enjoy the grind a little bit at least. I'm a bit wary of getting in there uh, because of just how many people there are. Oh god. I think I'm just gonna have to do it because I'm sort of lurking around here, but I really don't see this being uh, something that I'm gonna survive for a long time. Let's see if we can take down as many as possible, maybe start flying away as we can. Anyone behind us? No, that's fine. Anyone above us? I think there might be a Yak 9 or something coming soon. Okay, he's gone. Let's check behind us again. Nobody? Good. Uh, let's try to kill steal this guy because he's still not dead for like ages now There we go power of the Mustang mark 1a. We're gonna start dropping here because there's a bunch of planes around us Okay, so we've got I believe four kills right now. Hello Spitfire Ugh, Just didn't have enough speed Sorry, don't please don't speak. Please don't speak go away if you're in team speak go away if you're in team speak god damn it Thank you <laughs> See these fans of are so obedient. Can't tell if there's actually still somebody in here or not. That'd be a bit weird. If they started speaking like halfway throughout. Started just laughing or something. Right, he's down now. I need to be aware of what else is around me. I'm just using my C button. Actually, I'm not even using C. I'm using just I think my normal view to look around, aren't I? Whoo! Okay, so we're getting a lot of kills, which is really really nice. Um, it adds up to. Uh, quickly getting around to leveling up our planes and such. There we go, and he's gone. 
Right, that's good. We're doing uh, a good fr front over here. So, we've just been harassing their base like mad. This isn't actually a good example of how to level up my, my planes and such. But we've been harassing them so badly that what's happening right now is that they're not even focusing on defending their ground targets. They just have to defend right outside their base. Uh, and that's why if you look in the top right, we've pretty much, or sorry, at the top, we've pretty much just decimated the ground targets. I think there's somebody behind me here in a second. Uh, but that's okay. I'm gonna start getting really, really suicidal if I haven't already been. Um, and the reason is because I want to start leveling up some of the different planes. Go away, Buffalo. LA5. Come back here, dude. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of guys around me. Good. We're dead. Thank God. Finally, I think we... I think, to be fair, I think we overlived our expectations there. So now that we've got nine kills, what we can do is jump out into plane that we need to level up, like the Tempest, okay? I just prefer fighters over heavy fighters, and the reason is, is just, they're, I don't know, just more uh, agile, if that's what you want to call it. I don't know, I just, I, just, I, I prefer having smaller planes, uh, that's just my prefer, uh, prefer, ugh, pre preference. But I know some people love flying out with the bow fighters, and I know in previous episodes I've said that they're a bit clunky, but I've been I've been mistaken, I do make mistakes. They, some of the bow fighters can be absolutely crazy with their turn times, like the bow fighter mark 5C, I think I'm saying that right. That that is incredible. So we're flying out with our uh, not so stockish plane. I mean it is stock, but it's uh got a few things upgraded so it's not completely stock and all we're gonna start doing is leading our target we got owned though that was a bf 109 i sort of had to go for it to be honest he's not turning on me and the reason is is because there's other enemies in front of him that he needs to focus on so i'm just gonna try to finish him off if i can if i could finish him off that'd be grand no i can't and uh See, when you're in my position now, what you might do is glide back to the base, but I'm not going to do that because it's a bit boring for you guys for me to uh, go repair my plane, so I'm not going to bother with that. Instead, uh, I'm going to jump out into another stock plane. So, basically, uh, I mean, that was a bit of a bad example there um, to just die immediately in my Tempest, which is a plane that I have to level up with. But hopefully what you can do is, you know, Play a bit more conservative, get high altitude, use uh, energy fighting tactics to try to outspeed your opponents when you need to get away because that's really all that you have when you don't have like a fully upgraded engine or anything like that. Um, when your flight parameters, your flight performance isn't as optimal as it could be. Well, I've noticed when I'm using stock planes, and it probably is no surprise to anyone. But what I've noticed with uh, stock planes is that I get a lot less kills using stock planes than I do uh, with with fully upgraded planes. And it just comes down to performance. Uh, being able to get the highest damage output with stealth ammo, being able to get the sharpest turns, the fastest speeds with fully upgraded uh, engines, you, you know, reducing your... your uh, also surviving the longest with the most durability possible and such. Yeah, that sort of stuff. So I'm filing out with my bullfighter now. There's an Angel guy in our team. Angels are pretty damn good players. Uh, he's a decent player, yeah. He's got about 3 to 1 on his kills, but he's got a lot of ground targets as well. So he's been really mixing it up. So Angel's my competition. Vichin, 1979. I wonder what year he was born. <laughs> um, so I'm going to try to beat him. It might be a bit hard to do with stock planes, but we're gonna try it, okay? Alright, so there's a number of planes below me. Who am I gonna single out first? Well, remember how I always say that safety first. Safety first. You wanna try to go for the targets that are uh, straying a bit afar. And now the nice thing about I have over here is that my plane, it's not fully upgraded, but look how much altitude advantage I have over these guys. So immediately I'm thinking, Fokkerwolf, 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 Fokkerwolf. Closest guy to me. If he doesn't die on this pass, then I'm gonna kill him. Hopefully. Ah, oh, No, I didn't. And all I'm gonna do rather than start turning is I'm gonna start climbing again. Oh. Well, I guess we won. <laughs> no! 
Oh, I don't think I beat him in terms of uh, on the leaderboard. I'm not sure if we got the same number of kills though. No! He just beat me! How dare he! Damn it! <laughs> if I did a little bit better in my Tempest, maybe that would have been good. But, uh, okay, maybe not the best examples of, you know, me leveling up the stock planes, but you get the idea of what I do and when I do it, right? Uh, so I, I take out my, my fully upgraded planes first, get my number of kills in order to improve my stats. Uh, so, it, you know, for you guys, it's not going to be as high as 8, for example. So if, if your personal best is going to be 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever it is, aim for that number with your normal planes if you want to improve your stats. And then just fly out with your stock planes afterwards, go uh, kill. Because then, you know, mission complete, you, you improved your stats this round, so go level your stock planes. Or if you really don't care about your stats, then just say, screw you stats, I'm just going to level up my plane, I'm just going to be all about the fun. Then there you go. You know, if that works for you, then go for that. Uh, so we didn't come first, unfortunately. There's another angel guy in here. Oh well. I wonder what happened with him. Maybe he had a bad game, maybe he quit a bit early, who knows. Um, let's quickly read the messages here. Can we f play again like last time, Krebs? We can play again like last time, Big Black. But uh, if you guys ever want to play with me, I have to tell you, just, I am working full time now, so whatever time I do have available with me in the mornings or evenings now, I'm probably going to be spending on making videos. But if, if, if I do have some spare time, feel free to leave me a message on here. I will play with you guys. Uh, anything else? Hello, Krebs. I love the Krebs landing. Yeah, I said cool. Uh, can you play with some friends? Yeah, I said I can't at the moment. Okay, that noodle video makes me hungry. Dot 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 dot. Maybe I didn't say anything back to him. <laughs> I'm sorry. Makes me hungry as well. Silver, I love your videos. Why do you not... Why not do more games of jingles? Uh, the reason I don't do many games of jingles is I've got a little bit of a collaboration going on with Entac, Baron, and Fly. Uh, but the reason is, is I don't think Jingles likes me, and I get that impression, uh, the, and, and I'll tell you why. Because I used to be featured on his channel. I, uh, believe it or not, I used to be bigger than Jingles. I used to, when I had about 20,000 subscribers, he had like 15,000, I was bigger than him. He grew a lot, and I was on his featured channel list, and for some reason, I went on his channel one day, and he removed me off of it. So, I guess that must have been some sort of signal of breaking a relationship between us? I don't know. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, pester him or anything. Uh, if you guys want me to do games of jingles, go bother him to go play games with me. Because honestly, like, if he removes me from his channel first, then I, I don't know what's up with that. Uh, maybe he's got some sort of vendetta, competition, whatever it is. I'm just, it's all speculations. So, so yeah. But I'm, I'm a welcoming person, otherwise. Uh, <laughs> right, so I don't have enough time to do more games, but you guys get the idea. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. This is Grebzy, and I'll catch you all later.